You know what time it is. Boom <laughs> oh, oh, You feel it? I really feel the Friday. It's yeah. Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> yes. I went tomorrow. It's my it's my Thursday. <laughs> oh, it's your Thursday. It's my Thursday. Oh, sorry. Saturday. Boom okay. shakalaka wow. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. we're just a little bit past boom shakalaka o'clock, but y'all know what time it is anyway, right? Right. We make our own time. It's Friday, and we're the boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have a great show lined up for you today. Thank you for watching, everyone, and we got some great. Great guest today, Shaviva. Yes, we absolutely do. We have our co-host, Mr. Joe Parker from East High School. Trojans. Yes. Yes. Go Trojans. Go Trojans. Woo -woo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have the talented and beautiful Kenesha Davis. Oh, thank you. Woo. Yes. Yes. And we also have the talented and beautiful <laughs> Latasha. Thank you. Please pronounce your last name. Frost. Frost. Yes. Okay. Kara. Also, but for, I go by Frost. Okay. It's easy. Right, right. <laughs> thank you all so much for, for joining us. Yes, yeah. thank you all. And thank you, viewers. And thank you for watching us because you know there's always something good happening on the North End. And <laughs> everywhere, everywhere else, else in, in the, the Cedar, Cedar Valley. Valley. Yes. And you know this, right? Everybody knows that, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We okay. all know. You born and raised on the North End. Yep. Okay, what street? East 11th Street. That's not the north end. Well, <laughs> oh, it is. That's on the east side. She said okay, east. I, I'm, always, <laughs> I'm always talking about down, down in the, you know. Okay, east how side. about you? Did you live? I'm from Bay Street. I'm from the real. You north from, end. ooh, girl. You, <laughs> oh, my. That's If that's not north end, I don't yeah, know I what it is. train locked in. Right, <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, we had a great show last week. Did anybody get to catch it? Our, our show last week? I watched the end. You I, did. I was trying. I was trying to claim a bit. It was, it was New Year's Eve. Trying to get my life together. Yeah, yeah. We, had, two. we actually had two. Okay. We had two yeah. shows yeah. in the Friday, yeah. and then we did one to close out the end of the year too. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm not superstitious, but I I had to have so many things done before the New Year. So I I, I spent my my week. I get it. <laughs> Prepping for the new year. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got to get the greens had, and peas and all that well, ready, You know, right? you got to make sure all your clothes is washed. <laughs> you got to make sure your house is clean. And everything got to be put away. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Get ready I, for that school. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to labor doing all that. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you got your suitcase packed. I, I I worked myself, I mean, 12 hours, days. Just I made, I changed my children's room. I It was Let's, let's just say I didn't get anything else done. <laughs> okay. I didn't get nothing else done. <laughs> all right. It's perfect now. Oh, I understand. You, that you had to tell us all that because she didn't watch our show. See, she's yeah, I want you to understand. Making up all these reasons <laughs> why. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, last week we had Jerry Springer and we had Randy Fox as a co-host. Oh. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and who else? Sid and Simpson. We also, Sid Simpson, the yeah. fisherman, and mm -hmm. um, Daniel Banks and Mayor Hart was also on our show. So, so hopefully you, you get to catch that or go to our wall and look at those they were some we had a great time at the iron horse didn't we should be yes we mm. did i was joking yes yeah you should <laughs> our studio audience is jokes. okay we have some comments zion joyce Sarah Wilder says my new year's resolution is to try to be healthy and fall in love Oh, right. okay. She's the first that entry sounds... into the contest. Yeah. Betty Galloway Diedrich says, Boom Shakalaka. Hello, everyone. All hey, right. Betty. Hello, Betty. Lolo Robbie says, Trojans in the house. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Tracy Loveless Hill says, Love the snow too, Joyce. Okay, okay. okay. Everybody, so, Diane's like, I do not like the snow. I love it from <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> Joyce Sarah Wilder says, uh, Bay Street in the house. Neighbors. All right. Okay. Bill Banks says, yeah. what is snow? Oh, <laughs> right. He's in County, why don't you? He's in San Diego. And you'll be there. says, yes, it's snowing. Yes. <laughs> and you'll be there next week. That's Jenny right. I that's why I'll be next week. So, hey. <laughs> where are you going? Where you going? <laughs> San Diego. Oh, this wow. is my brother. Yeah. Betty Galloway uh, did you says, Bill Banks, you funny, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Loveless L says, Bill you were from Chicago, LOL. Right. Oh, so yeah. we That's love true. it when people are on our wall just bantering back and, back and forth. You yeah. know, that's always a good thing. Y'all can meet there and just start fussing at each other. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Joyce, I wanted last comment. 
Joyce Ann Wilder says, last week talking about being inducted the, to the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Right. Oh, yeah. Joyce, yeah. we can count on Joyce for knowing what happens on our show. Unlike you. Okay. <laughs> we can count on Joyce to know what's happening in the Cedar Valley. Thank you. All <laughs> over. She is a true advocate. So listen, how was your New Year's? Did you did you uh, have a nice New Year's? My New Year's, new year's? was um, eventful. Eventful. Yeah, okay. eventful. Uh, it was actually my very first New Year's Eve in Waterloo. Okay. <laughs> so uh, it was um, a little okay. different. You know, yeah, I, I went you. to a, like three or four places and just kind of like bounced around a little bit, did a little crawl, I guess. Okay. And um, and it was it was nice being at least being around a lot of people that I could see periodically and, you know, and just being out in the community. So it was a good thing. In a right. celebratory mood. Yes. I think I right. saw you with a hat on. I don't know if it was a hat. Yeah, it was a hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I did have a hat on. Yeah. Top hat for a little while. Okay. I'm bringing a new year right. Yeah. 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 How about you? Did you have a great uh, eventful New Year's Eve, ladies? Or Yeah, we uh, we just hung out with the, at the house with the kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. nice. And Were you up at midnight? Did you? I was. I okay. was up at midnight. I went to bed probably... 10 minutes later, but I was there. <laughs> I seen it. <laughs> okay, Kanisha. I went to church um, at Gift oh. of Life. We had an 8 to 10 service. So oh. we were able to get out and either go to the gala at New Hope or we could go home, whatever we wanted to do. I did that. I went home, watched the ball drop, and that was it for me. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the service well, ended at 10. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, good. Well, we had a great time on New Year's Eve as well. Sure. We were out and about, and we I think we shared some pictures on our wall. Um, and we also had a winner, a $50 gift card, so that always makes it nice. That's oh. right, right. Uh, congratulations, Nora Shannon. She was our... Our fifty dollar gift card yes. winner. Yes. Right. Hello, Congratulations Nora. to That's Nora. So and she was in a drawing, which makes me know remind remember to mention that when you chime in in the comment section today about what your New Year's resolution is, your name will be entered in a drawing for next week and you get to win one of Shaviva's beautiful art prints. Ooh. So make sure to comment uh, what your New Year's resolution is, and Zion may read them. Uh, and if we don't read them, don't feel bad. You'll still get entered in the contest. Okay. And while we're talking about these New Year's resolutions, this is where we're going to ask Mr. Zion. Mr. Zion. Um, do you do New Year's resolutions? Um, no, not really, because of the fact that I... Actually, I kind of find the new year, new me thing kind of a little silly to me. <laughs> okay. Because the fact that if you want to change, you'll change when you decide to. So it's like, you want to change, you can change in August for all you can. Yes. Mm -hmm. So instead of just waiting for the new year, take steps beforehand mm -hmm. to do better. Because it's not like, oh, the ball drops and something magical happens. You have to put in the work to do what you need to do. Say that. You just oh, preach. Hey, that's our Zion. Yes. The answers that Zion gives whenever we ask him things. I mean, it's just really great to get a young person's perspective, and you just have such a clarity of vision for a young man. You do. I mean, for yes. whatever person is in general. Yes. Yes, he is. Right. Real good. Well, thank you, Zion. Um, we want to just talk about our highlights of the year. Now, I know you guys don't keep up with us, but that's okay. Kanisha, do you do you ever watch our show? Usually, I'm at work during this time. Okay, you got excuses too. No, I don't have excuses. <laughs> I don't have to keep up with the show, though. I keep up I with you. Yeah, I follow you. Yeah, right. We get to see each other. Right. We get to see each other. You know, if you if you do watch, you know, I like to give our guests a hard time. Yes, yes I, I, don't, don't, I don't. I know. I know. Okay, but even if you keep up with us or not, we want you to know that last year was a great year, Shabiba. Yeah, Ooh, we, we did. did so much. I know. You ladies yeah. were on the move. Yeah. We it was really yeah. cool. Sometimes I wake up and be like, really, we did all that? Just, <laughs> yes. Just in the past week or month or whatever. But um, we went out to the airport yeah. and we saw the World War II fighter planes. Some of these were planes that the um, Tuskegee Airmen flew. Oh, wow. Right. And that was 
That was really interesting, yeah. It was, and we also, y'all know about Morgue's Diner. I know you're new in town. Have mm-hmm. you eaten there? I've been to Morgue's. Morgue's. Love hometown. the big pancake. Yeah, oh, the man. big pancake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yep. what they're known for. Mm-hmm. Um, and all and their hash browns are just as good and just as big. But we did a show there with their staff, which is like a family. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, the, the waitresses and the cooks. We did a show there, and that show just was really heartwarming because to see the the female camaraderie that the sisterhood that they have, it was yeah. just amazing. And we also... Yeah, we um, covered the KBBG Parade and North End Arts and Music Fest. Oh, yeah. And that was just so much fun, oh, yes. I tell you. Yes. Yeah. In fact, you sang there, yes. didn't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, what song did oh, you sing? Wow. I sang for the Music. gospel night. So oh. there were two parts of it. So for the gospel night, I did a couple of numbers, and then um, they had people singing just all day and performing. And mm, it was yeah. amazing, beautiful. And, you know, I said before we came on camera, this lady right here, how we said, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Mm. <laughs> yep. I saw her. <laughs> Where? What banquet were we at? I mean, and it's just so funny. The NAACP banquet. When we were sitting beside each other. Yes. And she's just um, so anxious to share her gift. You know, you can really see that it comes so natural, and it's so. And what comes Prepared. out is like, whoa! Prepared. You yes. know, that voice is just so beautiful. We got a Thank microphone you. right here. We, Thank we you. do here. <laughs> Go ahead. Why don't you? Did Will Mr. You Parker s- just put me on? Oh right? no! I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Because she will go. But maybe think of a couple of lines that you can sing to us on the way out. I sure will. Awesome. So that way we won't just say, hey, sing, take the mic. We'll (laughs) let you you in and tell us that with you a little bit. Because you can sing. Yes, she can. Okay, and then what else? We experienced Waterloo. We discovered this place. Mm-hmm. Now, it might have been there for a while, but we just figured it out, right? <laughs> right. We sort of columbus it, but that's okay. Okay. So, yeah, experience Waterloo at 500 Jefferson Street. Mm-hmm. Stop uh-huh. in sometime. Tavis Hall. Is the one that kind oh, of yes. Columbus did? director, yeah. Maybe, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, Zion, comments. Lolo Robbie says, hey, Kanisha. Mm. Hey. hey. Uh, Kanisha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Joyce L. Wilder says, smart Zion, thank you. Yes, smart oh. Zion. Felicia yes. D. smith Mel says, hey, ladies. Hey, that's my bestie. <laughs> that's right that's well known too Dominique Wallakin says always ready that's my girl Kanisha alright that's right she gonna show off in a little while y'all <laughs> yes. Renita Rice says uh, sing Katie <laughs> <laughs> hey so you know what though what about me I don't sing but I talk good you do, you do. <laughs> thank you yes. I talk good you that's talk right. good I talk good <laughs> Well, you know what? We need to keep it moving keep here. It moving. And let's just shout out our um, supporters real quick. Yes, go um, for it, Shaniva. Yes, Experience Waterloo at 500 Jefferson Street. Um, we just talked about them. Find out what you didn't know that's going on here. Ferguson Team Real Estate, if you're looking to buy or sell, be sure to contact mm-hmm. them. Okay, educational talent search. Woo! Yes. Hey! Woo! You saw today. them in our pre-boom. That's yes. right. 800 Sycamore, education is the key. And Educational Opportunity Center as well. Get the Woo! education. Yes, get the education you need to pursue your dreams. That's right. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Shaviva, for that. Because without our supporters, Zion would not get paid. Well, he would. <laughs> we would have to pass the hat around to the table for our guests because our intern pretty much rocks. And Woo! we love having yes. Zion here to read our comments. Let's give him Yay. a hand. Yes. And he's doing a great job. He's also learning the guitar. We got serenaded during the mm-hmm. oh. before you guys came. Mm-hmm. So we Didn't love know Zion. He, played that. That's... he was playing well, wasn't he? Yeah. It and was. um and also it helps us to travel on location and it helps us to give away gift cards. And all that kind of and stuff. And all the stuff that we do. And our women who inspire, we um, honor them with strawberries. Oh yes. Bougie strawberries. Ooh. Not yes. just any strawberries. Yes. Chocolate, right? just any dip, white chocolate, yes. all, all of that. All, all of that. good exactly. stuff. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now thank you, Zion. 
Now we want to talk about a new segment, Shaviva. Yes, yes. We're getting ready to do a, start doing a, an American history segment that we call Give It Some Air. Give it some air. Okay. Give it some Ooh, air. You know why? It. Because exposure is the best disinfectant. Ooh. There are so many mm -hmm. things in our history that, you know, on the surface of it that seem bad, and some of them are actually, like, way bad. But the way to combat that is through education and letting people know about these things. So, therefore, there's no excuse for it to happen again, right? 100%. So, you know, exactly. a lot of things that we end up talking about, it ends up being a situation of, well, wow, I didn't know that. I never heard that. Okay, you finna hear about it. Right, because right. yep. these lessons aren't easy to say. You know, that's why a lot of it, maybe why a lot of it got kicked under a rug. It's not easy to talk about. So you're going to see some new hashtags. Get air, some yep. air, give it some air on air our Air it wall. out, all of Air that. it out. Mm -hmm. Disinfect mm -hmm. that stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the Green Book. And we yes. had lots of comments today about that. Did, did you guys know about the Green Book? The Green Book. I was familiar with it. You were familiar with it? Yeah, William. From the me. movie? No. Oh. William, my brother, William Frost. Is, oh. He's, he gets into this kind of stuff, and he actually showed me where Cedar Falls wasn't and Waterloo was or something like that. And, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, so Cedar Falls is we know, historically. So, yeah, so I'll say about 10 years now. Oh, you've known at about least, it for 10 years. I least. had no clue. Before the movie came out, I did not have a clue. And neither did I. You didn't until what? Not today. The movie came out. The movie came mm -hmm. out. So, yeah, this book, it's, and I don't know, I shared the picture. I forgot to send it to the to the production crew. But um, this book, it's the green book, and it's called, uh, what is it called? Where is the other Right movie? inside it, it's something about the, the Negro, Motor Negro Motorist. Motorist. The Negro Motorist, Motorist uh, Handbook. So basically, you took this, this right book, um, yeah, for the Negro Motorist. What does it say, Shaviva? Yeah, um, it had something about your vacation without the aggravation or something, but it, it enabled you to travel across the country and know where it was safe for you to stop for food, where it was possible that you might be able to um, stay at some kind of lodging or whatever, Hotel. because things weren't as they are today, where you can just mm -hmm. pull up at any uh, hotel or restaurant that you'd like to. Then, it, you know, you had to strategize your stops, or oh, it could definitely. really be, you know, life-threatening even, you know. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at her. She is something else. Oh, Bless her. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Agnes. <laughs> yes. She went and got that. So those are the uh, photographs Oh, the that vacation without aggravation. Right okay. Yeah, exactly. vacation has without some, aggravation. Was on this vacation right without yeah. aggravation. Wow. If you mm -hmm. are, are Negro and travel, traveling in the United States, yeah. comment, Zion. Joyce Ann Wilder says, the love to the hostesses with the mostest. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Joyce. Olita Wright says, thanks, Zion. Thank you for watching. That's right. Uh, Phil thank Beck you, says, uh, Ure for Zion. It's about time you stop treating him like the help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor uh, Zion. <laughs> congratulations to the black uh, Mayor Bruce Tegu in Iowa City. Oh. I think I said the last name right. Uh, Judea Hill says, hey, KD. All right. Hey, KD. Hey, Pastor. That's my pastor. I got shot shout <laughs> out to That's right. We've yes. had her on the show, too. Yes. So we just want to share some of the comments. And, Shaviva, I know you have a story about your experience well, in your lifetime. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't necessarily about the Green Book, per se, but... When I was a kid, whenever we would travel and our folks would put us on the train to go south to visit my aunt, we had a big, um, every, we each had our own shoebox full of stuff. It had cake and fried chicken and fruit and all this kind of stuff. And I thought, ooh, how special am I? This whole box, this is just for me. And I thought it was really a big deal. But I was an adult before I found out that the reason why they did this is because they were not going to get us, mm -hmm. let us have anything to eat in the dining car. Wow. Mm. Oh, and yeah. Right. So, so when wow. people think that, you know, racism is ancient history, um, you know, in your in your lifetime, you were in my lifetime, you yeah. You know, so you know, yeah. things like that really resonate and um we need to keep those things air it out. Mm. You know, right. Let's go ahead and talk about it. And I heard about the movie and I'm looking forward to watching it and wanna 
tell Sherry Jones, thank you for sharing. Yes, your, thank you so much for sharing your collection of green books with us. Right. Chrisita Young said Waterloo is mentioned in the green book, and mm -hmm. you two saw yes. some references. Yeah. Of Miss, was it Miss Ada Treadwell? Uh, I yes. think it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And Tracy Loveless Hill said the reason why we traveled early mm -hmm. and made our own food was because night so travel food. was really discouraged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Rosie Daniels said she loved how some black women started their own bed and breakfast because there were so few places for black people could stay when traveling. And the last book that we have was 1965, I think it was. And I'm not sure if there's, I mean, I don't mean to say they're still in publication. I'm certainly hoping that things have gotten that better. But it'd, it'd be probably interesting. We probably can use them. Yeah, yeah. I down wonder if some of those homes are still there. I travel there. a lot. And right. Some definitely. of the homes that are listed, I wonder if they're still there. Right, right. It wouldn't yeah, hurt. You never know. It wouldn't hurt. Yes. Okay, so we want to talk to our co-host. Talk to us a little Ooh. bit. <laughs> How do you like What do you want to know? I just jumped over there. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us how are things going at East High School. What do you want the public to know? How can we support the Trojans best? Wow, yeah, things are going great, they, um, especially with this being my second year. And the, the first year, there was a lot of transition and, and just a lot of getting to know for myself, people getting to know me, um, and just, you know, navigating the landscape of the school. And... After getting through the the year and, and getting an understanding of the, a lot of the history and traditions of things that are going on in the school, um, it's uh, the second year is obviously always so much easier than the first year. Sure. Um, and and getting and being able to kind of to kind of get things that you need to happen to happen. Right now, I think the, some of the biggest challenges we have is we went one to one this year uh, as far as technology. Mm -hmm. So all of our students have access to Chromebooks. One of the biggest challenges we have right now is because so many things that we do, uh, some that our teachers do and the work that we do with our kids, go through the Chromebook, you know, through Google Classroom. There are assignments oh. that go through that. Um, and now we've got to get the kids to bring the Chromebooks to school. Oh. <laughs> and they, they want to leave them at home. <laughs> they want to leave you know? that, They don't get to yeah, play they, video games and no, stuff. Oh, they just want to say they got a laptop at home and okay. come to the school and leave. But there, uh, there are so many things that we're doing. And the important uh, um, issue that we have now is we're getting a, we're a few months out of our state testing, which is new. The the testing that we're doing this year through ISAPS is this is the second year of doing it, um, and so the preparation that we're doing for ISAPS this year is really a lot of um, uh, a lot of online assessments, a lot of online uh, assignments that they that they get to see. Uh, questions and process things the way that they would do it on a test. So we have to have them do it. So mm -hmm. they have to have their Chromebooks, so we have to do this on a regular basis. So that's the, the biggest challenge that we're going through right now is we're doing a lot of things to prep, prepare our kids, working through the curriculum, kind of getting things together. But, you know, getting them to understand the importance of it. <laughs> you know, the parents right. send them with the Chromebooks. If, they, if it breaks, get it fixed because, you know, uh, we are able to get that done. So that's one of the major initiatives that we have going on in place right now that is, is important. That's why we went one-to-one. -one, it kind of allowed us to do a lot of different things. But in order to do it, the kids got to bring the Chromebook. <laughs> right. Bring the Chromebook. Kids, okay. bring your Chromebook. <laughs> Um, also, talk quickly about athletics. I know it's a quick overall. We don't want to put you too far on the spot. Yeah. How was the football year? I didn't hear anything really um, that I know of. Zion would keep us posted a little bit on who won. Yeah. And uh, we went to a couple after, games. After, uh, they had a tough year last year because they didn't, you know, they were winless last year and it was tough. But the, um, the games kind of got out of hand a little bit during last year. But this year, it was it was really, really great to see that there was not a single game that they were not able or close to winning by the oh, fourth good. quarter. Mm -hmm. um, even maybe three or four or five of the games that they did end up losing, within the fourth quarter they were like a possession away. Sure. And they, they had a chance to win every game that they played, you know, and were able to win uh, four, uh, I think four games this year, which Good. is, which was a, which was a, a big jump from what they did the last year. The, the, the kids played hard um, and seeing them being competitive and, and work and they did a lot of work in the off season. The coaches did a, a lot of work with them. So the, the direction that they started going as a program you know, for our athletic program, for our, our and not just with football, but volleyball as well. Right. I was um, going to say, well, you got baseball. You guys even have a bowling, don't you? The, bo the bowling team. I, I went to the, the um, their first uh, their first meet they have they because they play right over in Cadillac, 
And um, and the girls are phenomenal. Yes. The boys are well too, but the girls bowling they're phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know? My best friend bowls, and she went to right. You were saying that. Like, yes. This will be her fourth year. She makes it this year. Wow. Yeah. Right. I love going to the to watch them watch the the bowling. Uh, oh, they did, I bet. They did really good. So good. the the athletic programs are, are are turning things around on a on an upswing. We have um, like our volleyball coach. It was this this is his second year and. He, they put a lot of energy and work into some of the things that they're doing. You know, the bowling they, know. that traditionally have been doing well. The Good. coaches are great, and the kids they they really enjoy it. I just wish we can get more kids to go out. You know, to the sure. action, to watch them bowl. Because, okay. You know, when it, when they have the meets. Yes. Okay. And so we could talk about basketball too. I know basketball is awesome this year, and its season is still going. Just how is that season going? Um, Good. I don't mean. I mean, just like how many wins and how many losses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really games this year. But tonight we're hoping to change that around. And I'm sorry, what'd you say, dear? We haven't won any conference games okay. in basketball, but that's because our team is really young and it's uh, made up of right. mostly underclassmen. And so next year the team will be doing amazing. I can guarantee you that. Awesome. Yeah, it is a lot. Yeah. Really, tournament. really tournament. young team. Really okay, young team. Great. But, but I, what I do appreciate for my athletic program and watching our kids is they play hard and they compete. And that's, yes. you know, win or lose, that's the, that's the, all you can ask, is right. that they play hard and they compete. And as long as I see that, I'm, I'm good with the effort. As long as they're giving that effort and they've been doing, they've been doing that. Well, good. Right. And I think you're a perfect fit for the program. I mean, for East High. And I think that you know, everything is going to work out really well <laughs> for all your athletic teams. But the bottom line, the question of the week is, how is Zion doing? Okay, skip that question. Zion, Zion is great. Zion is Zion great. great. Okay, okay. Zion is great. We love to put Zion great. on the spot. Okay, so right quick before we move to our other guests, we got lots of stuff to talk to about them. But let's give the East High Trojans a big round of applause. Woo! Woo! Trojans. All right, Shaviva, we want to hear from who? Let's see. Let's talk to Latasha. Okay, yeah. Now, when I first ever heard of you, Latasha, it was because I was seeing you so often online where people were just raving about the things that you do oh. with their hair. Okay, yes. Okay. Oh, can okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can. It's going to be a lot of maintenance. <laughs> I, I, this, some, this is days like this when I wish this show lasted an hour yes. so that we could really get into and talk about more. But uh, I would like to for you to talk a little bit about what you do with um, children that maybe are in the foster care system yes. that, um, you know, talk about the, the hair care service that you do. So right now um, I teach a few different classes for foster care and adoption parents, adoptive parents. And basically we just, they come in, they children have different hair types than they have. And I try not to Oh, that's right. Make, that's what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying not to make it a race thing because sometimes, you know, they could be, they don't identify as black. They could be uh, Puerto Rican. Sure. Even though I think but Puerto Rican is black, but that's off the subject. Yes, yes. But they can identify something different. Mm-hmm. So we just do curly type, curl type. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times um, parents, they adopt these children. They love these children. They want to give these children the world. Right. But yet they do not know, do, do not know how to do their hair. Right. So then they come to me. I teach a class. I teach basic hair care. Nothing mm-hmm. fancy. I'm not expecting you to go out and, you know, do box braids. But, you know, you should be able to comb Keep yes. it from matting, um, protective hairstyle, something, sure. you know, something age appropriate. Mm-hmm. You know sure. what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, and then they can also have hair because, you know, if you're placed in a situation where you're in foster care and you're being removed from your home, the last thing you want to do is go to school and not feel pretty. And not yeah. look yeah. as mm-hmm. well as you could. Right. Mm-hmm. And like I try to explain to the parents, you know, it's not going to be perfect. There's days my child literally look like she has no home. Like, you know, <laughs> that's fine. You know, like I understand there's some days you can't keep her, but you have to have, there has to be some type of maintenance in the hair. So that's what I teach. And um, unfortunately, most of these kids, I shouldn't say unfortunately, a lot of these kids are not even in Waterloo. Sure. We don't realize how blessed we are to be in Waterloo if you're going to be in Iowa. Where you're around more diversity. Yeah, so we have, we have Earth Beauty. We have, yes. ton, yeah, you know, we have, we have resources. We don't yes. have to go to Amazon there and order 45 go. different products. We right. have Pat and, you know, Sir right there in the place that can give you 
guidance. So they're in Charles City. That they're in Sumner. Good. They're in little these little bitty towns with no resources. Mm. So they they don't know what to go. They don't know what to get. They don't know anything. So like it's one of the things that we do at our classes that we hook them up with a product. Good. And, oh, that's um, wonderful. Yeah. And so all you viewers out there that are having this problem or this issue and, and or know someone that needs help helping, you know, with the young. Because, you know, this is something dear to my heart. Shaviva, you know, Mrs. Yes. Barry, and everybody's heard my story. Yeah. But I was that child in yeah. the neighborhood. But but I, luckily I had a lot of black mothers that, and we, we that also, took care of me, you know, because they're not going to let you run around yeah. too long. And we also, like have, that. <laughs> we also have a lot of parents reach out who actually – have relationships where their their husbands or, or someone is different than them, so their kids' hair is different. Sure. So they might it doesn't have to necessarily be foster care and adoption, but that's what yes. one of the of things course. that we do. Yeah. And um, our main concern is the cost mm. for the parent because they don't know how long this child is going to be in their home. Oh. So then not always, and they're not necessarily saying they're bad. It's, it's a lot of investment. You know how much it costs to take care of our hair. Oh, sure. yes. yes. So if you got a child and you don't know how long, well, yeah, you probably, <laughs> it could be expensive. <laughs> so, you know, do they do they purchase all the product and keep it at their house? Or they, they like to try to send it with the child. Oh. So a lot of times what we do, we do a little donations and stuff. So we were able to give the product directly to the child. Mm. So no matter, like, when they get moved, that's not the foster mother's hair product. Right. That is that child's hair product. And they can take it with them. How nice. So that's what we do. So, yeah, it, it is good. And we also, I... I start probably around six, seven. It's teaching them how to do their hair too. Right. It's not mm -hmm. just the mom. It's also the kid because, mm -hmm. in case they are moved to a different home, which a lot are, I've seen different children come back, and they have a different mother. Sure. You know, and they can teach their new mom or their new. Yeah. Lady so girl. you you can do basic maintenance yourself. You should know how to detangle your hair. You should know make sure that ponytail. A lot of the problems is just that they don't detangle it. Sure. Something as simple as that. So yeah, that's what. Not to take up too much time, but that's literally what we do. Great. So, yeah, right yeah. now I don't have any anything on the books because I'm expecting to have a baby. I'm trying to figure out when this is going to happen. Yes. It's going to be happening between February 24th or so. Oh, so after that. <laughs> if it's on my birthday, we're going to have a party. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but after, I, after I have my baby, I work with Lutheran, um, Four Oaks, and another um, Black Hawk foster care. So after I have my baby and I know, you know, we're done on... And I start picking up classes again and get some. Mm. So I let you guys know when we have classes. Please, up. anybody can come. They're oh. not. They're not just for. You know, they're for everyone. Okay. Yep, and yes. when you're ready, we'd be happy to share that information with yes. anyone that's interested. Like I said, I wish that we had more time because now <laughs> we really need to talk to Miss no, Kenisha. Uh, we have comments. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we have comments, Ian. Yes. Uh, Jody Keho says, "Hey, beautiful people." Hey, hey beautiful hey. Jody. Tony D. Johnson <laughs> says, great knowledge. Hey, Cousin Katie. Are you Katie? <laughs> great knowledge. <laughs> Everybody likes K KD. <laughs> but you know what? This is called the Rocky and Shabini. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what about me? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Who was it this said hi? Uh, it was Tony D. Johnson. That is hi. my cousin. Oh, hi, All Tony. Right. <laughs> you know your family going to shout you. Exactly. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. We'll figure, that's cool. Joyce Allen says, great points, Tasha. Oh, yes. yes. We love um, that idea. Jody Cahill says, hey, Katasha, your daughter always looks great. I love her so much. <laughs> oh, oh, she okay. goes to Royal Legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Felicia D. smith Mall says, is that Joe Parker? Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Trump. Oh, <laughs> so he got a shout-out. Yes. And she's a war hug, so that means I'm a lot of things. Felicia is a sweetheart. Dominique Cool Wallachan says, Katie is taking over. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will in a minute. All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your comments. Now we get to go to the wonderful Miss Kanisha K.D. Davis. Beautiful, yes. beautiful woman with a beautiful spirit. Get her, Shaviva. Yes, lady. <laughs> Tell us what is going on with you right now. Um, do you have any events or anything coming up? Right now, I'm actually on a little break. 2019 was crazy, but it was phenomenal. I had a chance to do some work with the Joe Biden campaign. Oh. I had a chance to do some uh, some serious work with the technicians. I had the technicians. Technicians, shout out. yes, shout yes. out technicians. They are doing some great stuff around the city and and nationally. Um, I had a great year. I am looking forward to this year. I'm also looking forward to this break, though. Like okay. I've been able to sleep for like the past two weekends. Oh, it's right. been wonderful. <laughs> Uh, but there's I'm, a lot to be said about sleep. Yeah, 
I'm is. always ready whenever anybody calls me. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go. So yes, you are. You stay ready. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. yes you are. And so you've had a good break, but um, so you do have a day job. I remember asking you that here recently. I do have a day job. Yes. Yes, I actually just got a promotion. I am the BSA compliance something at Lincoln Savings Bank. I don't even know my title. Oh, I just, oh okay. <laughs> Lincoln Savings Bank, a banker. Yes, okay. so I'm back in compliance, making sure that the bank doesn't get frauded and things of that nature. So okay. I'll be looking for you. Don't oh, let me see your name. Like, mm. She's exactly. talented, <laughs> smart, and beautiful. Inside Thank you so much. And out. Thank That's you, ladies, right. for having me. I enjoy any time I get to come. Um, as Vera said, thank you for making this platform available oh, so we can yeah. know what's going on in our city and we can give our city, you know, we can look at our city in a different light. Everything's always so negative. And thank this you is going so on, much. that's going on. But Friday at 4 o'clock, it's like a little slice of heaven. Oh, oh bless you. you. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you to say. And, yeah. you know, there's so much going on good you know Mm -hmm. and so people need to know that that's what we do that's what that's what we do mm -hmm. in waterloo is is support each other yes and and talk about good stuff just real quick community choir stuff (gasps) you didn't hear that (laughs) i just no i just remember that you were involved with doing the community choir i I have not had a community choir in a while um Mm -hmm. if we need to put one together Somebody shout me out. We'll make it happen. Okay. <laughs> so what I was thinking is that, yes. you know, we all, I know our time is running short now for sure, but one thing we definitely, I thought, would be good is if Kanisha could answer the trick question and then oh. talk about this, um, the birthdays. Yes. And she could sing. Do you know the whole part? You know, because all we ever sing is happy birthday to the chorus. Of course But do not. you know the whole, she happy like, oh. birthday uh. You don't know that part? You can't sing that for us? Okay, whatever. So, but she's going to make us sound okay. real good, so it doesn't matter. I know. Whatever she is. And so, can you sing the regular Happy Birthday song? Sure. Is that something you might want to sing? Can you sing it the way you want to? Sure. Okay, we'll go, we'll do that oh, when the time comes. Hmm. But now we're going to talk about the... So down. down. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> We did not forget. Yes. We know everybody's chopping in the bit. You do subscribe? Yes. You do subscribe? Not yet. Oh. I'm so fast. So does <laughs> that mean you're going to? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of I will course. subscribe. I like to read. Mr. Yes. Parker. K. Possum. Do you subscribe? Yeah, we get it every day. I mean, every time it comes out. There oh, you do? You go. Okay, awesome. This would be a great addition to your your salon. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Oh, definitely, yes. Right. So you can get a hard copy at two different places, Tri-City, um, Earth Beauty right. Supply, yeah. or okay. you can go online at the soultown.com. That's right. And Cherie Kaba is the inventor and uh, artist extraordinaire. Uh, yep. Of all of that, right? Of all of that, yes. So, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> we got birthdays. Oh, yeah. You want to read out? How about you read this? We got three rows for three. our three guests. Do you want to read out the first list of guests and then pass it on? Okay, I hope I do not slaughter anybody's name. Breakfast. Please charge it to yep. my head, yes, not my heart. That's right. Samantha. That's church folks talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me. I'm sorry. Because it's true. <laughs> Samantha Linsing Ludwig. Dada Ade Mungu. That was good. Jason Doris. Hey, Jason. Patrick. Woo! Patrick Jacob Plumley. Yes. Leela Gregg. Leela Gregg. Right. Your turn, Latasha. Okay, I don't, hope I don't mess it up. You won't. <laughs> Gabrielle Benson, yes. Clyde Monhorn, Mohorn, Mohorn. Yeah. Mohorn. Yes. Rochelle Butler, Doug Knudsen, mm-hmm. okay. Marcus Mon- Monhorn. Yes. I'm sorry, your name is beautiful. I just don't know how to say it. I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Parker? Uh, we have Marvin Jenkins, right. Chuck Dale. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Chuck Dale. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cassie. Cassie Jenkins, Mariah Ambrose, Cynthia Cooper, and Brooke Dunn. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got a Birthday. new record, the longest show in history. Yes. Our producers are like, 
like, seriously, you guys got to get out of here. That's right. But we're going to sing out any the Stevie Wonder version. We don't have time for all the other stuff. That's okay. So we're going to sing it, and it goes something like this. <laughs> Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday! All right, all right. Happy birthday! That's what happens when you got a singer. Oh, okay. <laughs> a singer. I wasn't there yet. <laughs> all right, I love it. Well, we had a great time. This first show of the new oh, year. Yes, yes. 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 it's been a great. Kick it off one. right. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. And. We're going to have to close out now. If all hearts, we're going to talk church talk. All hearts and minds are clear. <laughs> and you look at me. <laughs> That's right. Um, and we want to encourage you all to keep doing more of what makes you awesome. Because it makes us all, all look good. good. See you next time. Woo! Woo!